Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply bullet points in Excel. We're going to create a little button. If you press that button, it applies bullet points. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Now I've actually removed that bullet button up here so that we can recreate it. The first step is to get a bullet somewhere on your spreadsheet. And there's two easy ways of doing this. One is to use the shortcut key Alt and 7 on your numeric keypad, and that will create a bullet. If you don't have a numeric keypad, another way of creating a bullet point is to use this little formula, character 149, close bracket, and then what you'll need to do is copy that and paste values. So go to Home, Paste Values, and then you'll have a bullet point in the cell. Now, once you've got this bullet point, what I want you to do is to copy it onto your clipboard, select an empty cell, and then use the shortcut key control one. Go to custom. Now in the type box, you're going to type the following. You want to first of all, paste in your uh, bullet point, control V, then put a space in, put a zero, the little star character, shift and eight, space, semicolon, then Copy what you've got there onto your keyboard and paste it in. Uh, but on this, put a minus sign before the zero. Then after that space, put another semicolon, paste it in again, leave it as it is, put a semicolon. Then you just need the bullet. So copy that, paste it in after the semicolon, put a space in and put the at symbol in. Click on OK. Now, if you type something into the cell, you'll see that it will automatically be given a bullet point. If you type a number in, it will bullet point the number. It will also work with negative numbers. Now, obviously, you don't want to have to type all that stuff every time, but you want to create a bullet within a cell. So we're going to look at some easy ways of applying this format. The first method would be to select the cell that you've currently got the format applied to and then go up to Cell Styles. This is in the Styles group on the Home tab. And go to New Cell Style and type in a name, Bullet Points, put a space in if you like. And you can see that it's picked up the syntax that we'd written into the Format Sales dialog box. And you want to untick all the others. Little check boxes here and just leave that one ticked. Click on OK. So now if I had a list, Apple and Pears. If I select those two cells and I go up to cell styles, I've got bullet points there and it applies the format. Now to get the button that I showed you at the beginning of this video to appear up here, we have to work a little bit harder. Select a cell, it can be any cell, then go to view, macros, record macro, give it a name, call it bullets. And you need to make sure you're storing this macro in the personal macro workbook, not this workbook. Click on OK. Then press Control 1 on your keyboard. With that cell still selected, go to Custom. And in this list, you will find that format that you just created. Pick out that format. Click on OK. And then go up to your Macros button and stop recording. Now we need to assign that macro to your ribbon. So right click on one of the tabs on your ribbon. Doesn't matter which one. Customize the ribbon. We're going to put this button on the Home tab. If you expand the Home tab, click on Home, Add New Group. I'll put it at the bottom here. If you click on Rename, we're going to call this Custom Formatting. Uh, you can place this wherever you like. Then over here, where it says Choose Commands From, Popular Commands, select Macros. And you want to choose the macro that we just created, Bullets. Click on Add. Now. With that selected, go to Rename, and you'll see a little bullet button there, and type in bullets here. Click on OK, click on OK. Let's see if it works. So if I've got apples and pears, I select these, I'll go to Home. There's my bullet button, I click on that. To remove the bullets, I can't undo because it's a macro. All I do is go up to here in the number group and choose General, and it will take the bullets off. One thing you will need to do, because we've saved this macro to the personal macro workbook, which means that it will be available to any workbooks on your computer, is when you close down Excel, Control S, Control W, and then when I shut down the application, Alt F4, 
it'll ask me whether I want to save the changes to the personal macro workbook. And at that point, I need to click save. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully it's been useful. Please subscribe if it has, and I'll see you next video.